Hi, Michelle. How are you? I'm great. How are you? I'm very well. It's very rare. Often, sometimes in this in this podcast, we get to talk about you know, there's a hardback and there's an audio book. Da, da, da. We rarely get to plug an album. <laughs> um, I, because I'm not one of the cool kids, was unaware of Japanese breakfast. So I've been bopping in my house to Japanese breakfast in Jubilee all oh, day. Oh, thank so you. So thank you very much. Thank yeah, you. Thank you very much. And there's a couple of questions that we ask every author that comes on the uh, book club podcast. Is there a book that turned you on to reading? Raymond Carver is what we talk about when we talk about love, uh, turns me on to reading. I think, you know, my, my, neither of my parents went to college, to uni, and, <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, I didn't grow up with um, that much of a library in my home. I really had no guidance beyond um, what we were reading in class. There were these plain spoken, very moving stories about everyday people that I, I, I'd never read something like that before. Uh, I'd never been exposed to that type of writing in, in school, and it felt within reach for me, um, and it, it excited me. Uh, the next one is a book you think should have been a hit, something that should have been a bestseller and somehow just didn't find an audience. There's a wonderful book called uh, A Burning by Mega Majumadar that just came out uh, a couple years ago that was... I think is incredible and should be a Hollywood film. And, and I, I do think that it, it, it is selling well and, and is very enjoyed. Because I see it in airports now. So I think it's, she's doing just fine. But that was a, a book I read recently that I, I feel like more people should talk, be talking about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> She'll be happy you mentioned it. Uh, and the final one, is there a book that you are sort of jealous of? A book that you think, oh, what a great idea. Why didn't I think of that? I think that the book that I return to over and over again uh, to just study and try to steal from as much as possible is Marilyn Robinson's Housekeeping, uh, which was a book I read in college. And, you know, it's not it's just too I, it's, it's too smart to be anything that I could could ever write. But I, I remember one one of my favorite things that my editor suggested after reading my first draft was. I wish that you talked more about the weather so we knew we were more rooted in the scene and, and more aware of the passage of time. And at the time, I was just like, what? Who writes about the weather? Why would I do that? That seems like such a waste of time and space. And I went back and read housekeeping for probably the hundredth time and, and only underlined uh, passages about the weather. And it, and it improved the story so greatly. And sometimes it's so, so simple. It's just like the color of the sun. But every time I needed a sort of moment to kind of uh, take a beat or um, mark the passage of time or kind of enrich a scene uh, or have the weather say something about what's going on between two people without explicitly saying what's going on between two people. I think Marilyn Robinson is just a true master of language and and I, I return to her over and over again. Thank you so much. I know you've got a gig tonight. Go rest, go sleep, all of that. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you so much for having me, Grace. Yeah.